alive. Let's try to position you. I was gonna get all fancy for you today, but then I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna be real today. I'm just gonna be real. Okay. So, hi. Okay, let's invite Melody. Although I think Melody has to be on the live stream in order for me to invite her. Um, okay, I think I can do it like this. Okay. Yay! We did it! Hold on, do I need to be, do I need to turn my phone the other way? I can see you just fine. No. This way. Okay. That way. Okay, hold on. I'm going to prop my phone on my uh, monitor. <laughs> Hopefully it won't fall. I have my Ooh. phone propped on my Guinness World, World Record books and tarot cards. Oh God. <laughs> okay, I might just hold it. Oh God. Okay, please don't fall. <laughs> uh, it's bad light over here, but okay, whatever. Uh, let me turn a lamp on. Maybe that'll be better. Wait. <laughs> I'm a professional. I'm so professional. <laughs> oh yeah, we're, we, we do only professional things. <laughs> The only way we do it is very professional. And I was going to be so cute this morning, and then I took cold medicine last night. Yeah, I was, too. Look at me. Like, my hair is not even brushed. I was my, like, I, yeah, I barely brush. brushed my hair. I didn't put my contacts in. I I put some lipstick on for you guys. That's it. Oh, well, you did more than I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I took off my pajamas, and I put on a real shirt. I got pajamas on the bottom. Good job. Let it be known that I always have pajamas. Hashtag authenticity. Yeah. This is authenticity at its finest right, right I'm now. I'm just going to hold my phone on top of my monitor because I'm afraid of... Don't you have me. a glass of water? That's what I do sometimes. Well, a glass of water. Put it on so books and then put a glass of water behind it. I have a standing desk, so it's at my height. So if I... Oh, so that's a little different. Yeah. I'm on the floor because I'm lazy. Anyway, it's cool. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so I posted it on, I posted about this on my profile, but otherwise we're just in the group. Hi guys. We're just in the group talking. So I thought it was important to do this live stream so that we could share with people everything that we've learned around bringing in sales consistently. Oh, just and okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like not just, I find like a lot of people have this problem with, not that they have a problem making money, but they have a problem making consistent money where it's like the money will come, but it was like, it will come. And then like three weeks will go by and they'll make nothing. And then, oh, there it is again. And then another few weeks, but it's like consistent money is what most people want and they're not able to get it. So I thought that would be a good thing to to focus on and talk about and kind of share our own experiences with that and, and let people know. And at the same time, reminding them that sales every day starts on Thursday. So they're going to want to be a yeah, part of that. Yeah, you guys need to sign up. Yeah. It's so the nitty gritty stuff will go into that. Yeah. So there's we share our own experiences now. I think that would be cool. There's a lot of value in that, but also just that <laughs> in the shop itself, like it's going to break it down step by step, every little thing so that it's not, it's not difficult to understand or implement because a lot of people will do these workshops or take courses or do programs or even work with coaches and they get all of this information and it's not like the information is not valuable. It's valuable information, yeah. but they don't implement it. They don't know how to implement it and actually make it work for them. So we're going to talk about how to actually implement the stuff that, that they're learning as well, which I think is something that most people don't do when they, mm -hmm do these workshops like I've taken a couple of these workshops before and they're basically just like here's all the information have fun yep. bye <clears throat> and then that's it and then you don't know what the fuck to do next you have all this information but it's like well, what do I start with and what should I do here and then like getting feedback am I doing it right like all of those things and that's kind of the biggest reason I wanted to do the workshop was to kind of 
not just give the step by step, but also to show like the implementation process and why that's so important. Yeah. I was just saying that to somebody at the conference I was at on this weekend that, yeah, I'm like a course hoarder and a freebie yeah. hoarder. And I yeah. buy these courses and then I'm like, I'm totally going to dedicate my time to it. And then it just sits in a folder in my yeah in my email. And I think that a lot of entrepreneurs, especially women, do that. Yeah. We're like, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then you get busy with your kids or your clients or just life happens and you never implement what you've learned or your brain is on fire and you never take action. Yeah. Yeah. Cause there's too much. And I think that's, that's the issue is that there's there is so much information out there like i always say anybody can be a millionaire tomorrow like if they really wanted to there's a fucking course on how to do it you can do it but if you don't actually implement the shit that you learn then you're just wasting your time and your money so you might as well invest in something that's going to teach you what you need to know but then also teach you how to implement the things that you just learned so that you can then get the results from them because otherwise what's the point like why are you spending your time and your money on on courses and programs coaches whatever just to learn things and then let them sit in like a folder on your computer or whatever like it's just a it's a waste so you might as well invest in something or someone that's going to walk you through exactly how to do it and then show you the implementation process so that you get the results. And you guys, this is such an insane deal because both of us, like what we charge for this is a lot more. (laughs) Yeah, like (laughs) if you were to do something privately, (laughs) excuse me, I mean like that would be ridiculous, the value that you're getting for 177. Um, Plus, FYI, um, I didn't even tell Melody this, but um, we have a payment plan now. So if you want to do it, it's even less to get started. Two payments of 99, or you can pay in full for 177. Either way, it's ridiculously low value for the amount of content you're going to get, the amount of engagement you're going to get, the amount of support you're going to get, plus the amount of implementation shit that you're going to get in the Sales Everyday Workshop. So go to um, cassiehardcom slash sales every day. And you can check out the sales page. I'll put it in the comments so that it's easier and you can just click it. Um, And maybe, Melody, you can talk about kind of the things we're going to be focusing on. Yeah. So I know a lot of people hear that they need to use Facebook ads. Um, I know I heard that for a long time. But they're like, okay, so I just stick an ad up there and I get clients, right? Um, No. Wrong. (laughs) Wouldn't that be nice, though? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I know. I wish it was. I mean, I tell my clients all the time, I'm not Harry Potter. I can't wave my magic wand and get you a million dollars. If I was, I would be a millionaire right now. And that would be yep. amazing. But since I'm not, you have to actually do some work. Um, and it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be scary. It can be a fun process. Um, so I'm going to teach you about how to figure out where to start with ads, how to actually set them up, and how to create ads that actually convert. Now, they are gonna take some time. Again, it's not magic. You do have to test and tweak a little bit, but it's not as scary as it sounds if you put in the time. Yeah, I find that with Facebook ads, it's more about the time investment than Mm -hmm. the money investment. Like, obviously, if you put in more money, you're gonna get you know, more results because you have, it's just math, right? The more money that you put into ads, the more money you can then receive in terms of sales from clients or or sales from programs. But it's more the time that you put into like perfecting the ad and making sure that it converts well. Otherwise, you know, yeah, you could, you know, sell programs and courses and stuff through Facebook ads, but you're paying like $20 a lead for like a $5 Thing that you're selling or whatever it's right crazy. Like, it, it doesn't have to be that expensive guys if you're doing yeah like that's way too much money like if you're spending 20 bucks a lead like something's wrong unless yeah. it's for like a twenty thousand dollar program or yeah. something then 20 bucks a lead is pretty damn good but probably but... your people who are buying twenty thousand dollar programs are not on facebook <laughs> let's be real that's another thing i'm going to go over is where are your clients are they on facebook should you be using facebook ads let's yeah. talk <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's not just like, just shove a bunch of money in Facebook's face, and then all of a sudden you're rich. Um, it's 
it's learning about how to use Facebook ads effectively so that they can work for you with you. Um, and then also obviously before that, like Melody is going to be like the last person that you talk to at the workshop because Facebook ads is the very last thing you want to start. With Facebook yes. Ads. But like, yes. we're going to go over actually creating an offer or if you already have an offer that you want to sell, then just kind of tweaking that, but making sure that you have it set up in a way where, you're going to be able to sell out this launch, whatever it is that you're launching, whatever it is that you're selling, you're going to be able to sell it out. You're going to be able to get as many sales as you want to get for it. There has to be some type of a strategy there. There is a mindset piece to it. There mm -hmm. is like some, some inner work that you'll need to do, but you also have to do the stuff, the work, right? You have to have the strategy behind it. So we're going to go over like what is actually involved in having a sellout launch. Like what does that actually look like? What kind of offer would that be? What does the pricing look like? What does the actual, you know, packaging look like? What is, what are the must do's and what are the must not do's and then making sure that you're focusing on all of the right things so that when you do put this offer out there, it sells and you're able to make your money back from whatever you're investing in the workshop as well as the ads and anything else that you have for an investment, right? Like making your money and making a profit at the same time. So it's creating the offer. It's making sure that you have everything set up for the offer, like making sure you have a high converting sales page, landing pages, thank you pages, emails that are going out, like different copy and stuff for your offers. Like there's a lot of different pieces to having a successful launch. And that's all the stuff that we're going to cover in the workshop. And then the Facebook ads piece is just kind of, it's, because the stuff that we're going to cover before Facebook ads, you're going to make a fuckload of money doing that. But when you do the Facebook ads, when you add that, then you're exploding your income. Yep. That's what I like to say, exploding your income. Like the income is just going to skyrocket. If you know how to use Facebook ads effectively and no, you don't have to spend a fortune on them. You can just spend as much as you want to spend on them and they'll still be able to convert for you if they're set up properly. Right. So it's, it's going to be fun. I'm excited. And I'm very there's excited. No more so much more that will probably come up as we're doing it yeah. as well than than we even have like outlined to do for you but it's just one of those things where it's like if you miss out on this you will be kicking yourself because it's going to be such a jam packed full of value type of a program that i've never offered elsewhere and i don't think melody's ever offered elsewhere yeah. either in terms of like, like how much pieces, but the reason cassie and i came up with this and i was saying that I have clients I work with and they had someone else set up their sales page, someone else set up their funnel, someone else set up their emails and it's not converting and they get mad at me and I'm like, well, it's your ad is only as good as your funnel. So if you do not yeah. have those key pieces set up first, your ad's not going to do freaking anything. Exactly. Yeah. It's, again, it's, it's, it's the whole piece. It's all interconnected. Everything is interconnected. Yeah. And it's, and that's why I wanted to combine both because I don't think that Facebook ads alone is enough. And I don't think that if you want to make a certain amount of money that just having, you know, a strategy for one specific type of a launch is good enough as well. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to have a really successful launch that makes like 10 K 20 K even 50 K, right. Then do you need Facebook ads? No. Like I always say you never yeah. need Facebook ads, but do you want to make more money and do you want to make it easily? Then you might want to at least try Facebook ads, right? Like anytime I use Facebook ads, they convert really well for me. And I don't really spend very much at all per lead on what I'm doing with the ads. So if you have Facebook ads, a really strategic plan for Facebook ads, as well as a really strategic plan for your launch as a whole, then, I mean, your earning potential is just unlimited. Like there's so much that you can do with whatever it is that you're selling, whether it's a, a high level offer or, you know, like a low end offer, you're still going to be able to make really great money with it. If you have the strategy behind it and you have the pieces in place to make that a successful sellout launch. Yeah, I agree. I'm excited. I'm excited to sit in on your portion because, you know, I'm always <laughs> launching something. So always, always launching. Always be but launching. I've even found too, like doing some of this stuff where it's like, you have to make sure that you're, you're not getting too caught up in like the how part of it, but mm -hmm. at the same time, because you want to be able to be super creative, right. And just kind of when things come to you, act on them and from the inspired ideas. But at the same time, you do want to have some type of a strategy, some type of a system or plan or formula, whatever word you want to use for it. You have to have something that you're kind of starting with. And then you can kind of, 
go with the flow, so to speak, where it's like if some if you're doing your your plan, your strategy, and then something else comes to you as like, oh my God, I have to do that. Well then yeah, you can tweak the plan, right? Like it's never set in stone. It's never like it has to be done this specific way. But everything that I'm gonna share is all of the things that I've done to make the money that I've made in my business. And I was talking about this earlier on a call with a, a client where I was saying, like when I made my first million dollars online, it was three years. What it was like 1.3 million in less than four years, something like that. So like a million dollars in the first three years, this was in an industry where I was like completely unknown. Nobody knew who I was. I didn't know who anyone was. I didn't even understand the industry. I knew what I was teaching, like how to make money online. I'd been doing that for a long time. So I knew that, but I didn't understand the coaching industry. Um, and it wasn't until I worked with a coach who talked about both the mindset piece and the strategy piece, yeah. as opposed to just the mindset or just the strategy that my income really started to skyrocket and it, and it just continued to grow from there because I put both of those pieces together and I found that the mindset piece is really important, but only if the strategy piece is also in place. And then the strategy is really important, but only if the mindset piece is really in place. It's not yeah. like, Oh, I'm really great at the strategy or, Oh, I'm really great at the mindset piece. That's not really going to do much for you. You have to be really great at both of those things both of those things combined and know how to work with both of those things at the same time. Because some people are like, okay, I'm going to learn from this mindset coach. Then I'm going to learn from this business coach. And then I'm just going to combine what they taught me. It's better to work with somebody who understands both the mindset and the strategy, as opposed to just one person here and one person there, because their strategies might differ. But if you have one person, then it's just for all view and you can go from there. And that's what I found to really helped me the most in terms of up leveling my income in my business was working with one person who understood the mindset piece and the strategy marketing sales piece. Yep. I totally agree. Yeah. Having worked with so many coaches, <laughs> including you. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. Not everybody is on the same page and it's just like, yeah. Okay. You need to be abundant. Okay. Um, what does that mean? What, how do I do that? that mean? Like, oh, okay. You need to manifest yeah. that. Okay. How? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it's like, you have to, you have to know how to do the mindset piece. A lot of the, the people who teach mindset are more so just like, you know, f just focus on being abundant or just decide that you're going to be rich. It's like, okay, okay well, yeah, that, <laughs> but like, I need to fucking do shit too to get that. You can't just be like, okay, I decide now. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to watch Netflix for a couple hours and wait for the money to come. Like, you yeah, have to do it no check. Thank you. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm manifesting it. So I don't actually have to work like I'm living on the streets, but it's okay. Because like, I know that I'm going to get all that money back that I just lost. It's fine. I'm just going to sit here and decide to be rich and then be really abundant and whatever, like deciding to be rich for sure is a great strategy. But you have to combine that with the, the physical act of deciding, right? Like you mm -hmm. have to decide in your mind, and then decide through the actions that you're taking, you have to make the decision to be wealthy by making the decision to be wealthy in your mind, but then making the decision to be wealthy through your actions. So it's a combination of both of those things. And most people do one or the other. They'll yep. only do like the stuff. Like I'm just going to go work my ass off 24 seven and then wonder why I'm still broke. Or I'm going to go and meditate 24 seven and wonder why I'm still broke. And but I have been that. in both of those camps before. <laughs> like me I'm too. <laughs> and that's how I know. Yeah. That's how I know where it's like none of those work on their own they only work if they're if you combine them where it's mm -hmm. like the mindset and the actual to do the strategy piece like you have to combine both of them or it's just it's not going to work yep um okay so what were we even going to talk about today i feel like i just went on a rant <laughs> um oh so okay so if the money isn't flowing what do you need to <laughs> okay so i'm going to start with this because the biggest thing that frustrates me a lot when people say this, um, they'll say like, oh, I can't seem to make money or I can't seem to make consistent money or it's not working, blah, 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 whatever excuse. And then I always ask them, I say, well, how often are you selling? And they're usually like, oh, you know, like every, you know, once a week or I'll send an email like, you know, a couple, every couple of days or, or whatever. Even sometimes they'll say like, you know, I post something once a day on Facebook, whatever. That's the best that I've heard from most people. And it frustrates me because 
how can you expect to make sales every single day if you're not asking for sales every single day? And how can you expect to make multiple sales every single day if you're not asking for the sale multiple times a day? Like you can't just be like, oh, by the way, I have this program and slap it up on Facebook and then close your laptop and like go play dodgeball or something. I don't know. I don't know why I thought of dodgeball. dodgeball? But I mean, I haven't played I've never, dodgeball. I've never my... played dodgeball in my life. So I have no idea where that came from. But I digress. The main thing is like, it, you can't just do one thing and then be like, okay, I did my work. I'm done. Like you have to sell all day long. Doesn't mean you need to be glued to your laptop all day long. You can, you can even schedule posts. I've done stuff where I've written a post, posted it, and then I've scheduled it to go to like five other places throughout the rest of the day, like every two or three hours or yeah. whatever. Right. So it's like, you have to show up and be visible with your offer every single day. You have to tell people, here's what's happening. Here's why you want to be here. Here's why it's important. Here's why you don't want to miss it. Here's what you're going to learn. Here's how your life is going to be better after you do this thing. Whatever the case may be, you have to continually tell people that because A, people aren't going to see it half the time because they're busy doing a million other things or they're seeing a million other posts and they haven't got to your content yet. But then also like you, you need to just remind them about it. Cause I've even had people say like, Oh, I'm glad that you message messaged me about this. Like I'll do follow up and stuff for certain offers. If somebody messages me and they're like, Hey, I'm interested in this thing. And then I'll send them the details and I don't hear back. I'll always follow up. And then, um, you know, sometimes people will be like, I'm so glad that you, you reminded me. I completely forgot about this. Where's the link or go oh, now, or I'm going to do this now or whatever it is. And they'll go and take care of it right away. And it's just because I reminded them. Right. And then I've even had, I had somebody actually sign up for the relentless entrepreneur two or three days ago. And she was like, Oh, I saw your post about it. I forgot about this. Cause she had asked me about it on the phone, like two, three weeks ago before I'd even reopened it. And she, she said that she wanted to do it. She's like, let me know when it opens. And I completely forgot to tell her when it opened. And she's like, oh, I saw your post this morning. And this was like, I think the fourth post that I had done that morning already online and an email. And she's like, I'm so glad that I saw it because I completely forgot. And then she went and signed up straight away. So it's just constantly reminding people, right? constantly letting them know that it's available, constantly letting them know why they need it, why it's important, why it's going to help them all of those things. So every single day, multiple times a day, you need to be selling. You need to be telling people about what's going on. You need to be reminding people about what's going on, especially if they've expressed interest in it. You need to constantly be reminding them about it until they either sign up or they say, go away. I decided I'm not interested anymore. Either way, right? Like you're doing them a disservice by keeping it to yourself. And you you're don't have to do it in like a, I know we've all been burnt by MLM people. Ain't no shame in the MLM game, but yeah, we've all been burnt on Facebook and Instagram by people being like, hey, girl, do you want to lose weight? Like, what? Yeah. And so you don't have to do it in, like, a spammy way. Just if you feel like someone, like, wants to be in your program or your service or yeah. whatever it is, reach out to them, like, in a personal voice message or a video message or yeah. just people are people. And this is what I talked about in my um uh, speech or whatever my presentation this weekend was people are people and we've somehow forgotten that online mm -hmm. that they're human beings and they do you just need to serve them and show up and sell like stop being afraid of serving people because we're human beings and we want to connect with other people we're not just numbers we're not just dollar signs we're people yeah and I find too that like, especially the, I'm glad you said the voice memo, memo thing. Cause I do a lot of my personal outreach that way. Now I used to like write them and I still do occasionally, but I like to do the voice memo ones. And every single time I do it, at least one person is like, Oh my God, I feel so special that I got a voice memo from mm -hmm. you. Um, because they, they're expecting that you're just seeing them as like, like you said, like a dollar sign or a number or whatever. Right. So when you actually take the time to send like a 30 second voice memo to somebody that you think would be perfect for your program or whatever it is you're doing, then they really appreciate that and they value that and they respect you more because you took that time to connect with them on that, you know, one-on-one -on -one yeah. intimate type of level. Yeah. I, I've been trying to do that more. If I see somebody that has expressed interest in something, I send them a voice yeah. message, I send them a video message. I try to make it personal because otherwise it just seems like they're a yep. checklist in your, yep. your day. Exactly. Yeah. And that's, and the other thing I want to say to that too, especially when it comes to outreach is you obviously don't want to just message random people. Like you yeah. want to make sure that 
reaching out to people who you've spoken to before or you've engaged with them in some way before or they've mentioned that they want to do something with you before or work with you before you're not just messaging random people um and letting them know about things unless you've seen their content before or you've seen like one thing this is the only exception I would make to that is I've done it before in my own Facebook group where I've seen like people ask a certain a certain type of question Mm -hmm. all the time so I know that they're struggling with that one thing so if I have something that I've just created that will solve their problem whatever their problem is then I'm going to reach out to that person and be like hey I know that you were asking questions a lot about this I know that you were struggling with this do you think that this is something that you would be of interest, right? I'll let them know whatever the program or offer is. And then I'll just message them. I'll just let them know. I'll say, here's what's going on. Here's why I think it would be perfect for you based on the post that you've been sharing in our community. And that's the only way that I would reach out to a stranger. But otherwise, you want to reach out to people that know who you are and that you've had some type of a conversation with before. And then people are very receptive of that. Even if you don't get a response, doesn't mean that they're not interested. You can still do like a follow-up message. I would probably just do one follow-up message though. I wouldn't like hound them forever because then they'd be like, fuck off, go away. But if you just mention them like, hey, just wanted to let you know that this is still happening. This is the last day or X number of spots are left or I don't want to bother you, but I just want to see if you're interested, let me know. And then just kind of leave it at that. And and you'll get a lot of people who won't respond, um, but then there will be people who do respond and who do say yes and who do maybe just want to ask a question and then they'll say yes, right? But you don't know unless you take that action. And so a lot of the stuff in the workshop is going to be around what are those actions that you want to take? Mm-hmm. How can you start those conversations? conversations with people to get them excited about working with you and buying what you're selling yeah yeah this is gonna be awesome guys you should definitely come because yeah I don't think I've ever been in a workshop that's gonna have this much value for, for such a low price. I know I'm usually it's people. like an eight-week course remember like- when we were talking about actually doing the program and I was like yeah I'm gonna sit on the price and I'll just kind of see what comes to me and I'll let you know and then you can tell me what you think Well, it's funny because I was messaging you to tell you what I thought about the price and I was going to write 997. Like that was the number that I just originally was like, that's what I should do. That's the best price for it. And people would get amazing value for that price. And I opened up the messenger or Vox or whatever it was to message you the price. And I typed 177 and I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm not supposed to do 997. (laughs) So I think my gut was like, no, 997 is what is what people should pay for this. But my intuition was like, no, it's 177. That's the number. And I always go with that number. It's always the one where it's like, this is what just came out of me. So I'm going with that. But I really, truly believe this is like thousands of dollars worth of value. Like I've even charged thousands of dollars for this type of content in other programs before combined working one-on-one, um, like retreats, events, workshops, those types of things. I've charged way more than this. Yeah. And, and really just wanted to have it at a price point where everybody could be a part where everybody could learn everybody could get value it's like I'm not doing this to make a fuck ton of money obviously or I would have charged thousands of dollars for it it's more just I want people to understand how easy it can be because once you understand how easy it can be to make sales every day to make money every single day then you know you're going to be able to do so much more with your business and with your life when you have that confidence and that safety that feeling of safety and and that feeling of, well, the money's coming. I know the money's coming. So I don't have to stress about money yeah. anymore. Then it, it completely changes everything. I, I like, I had that struggle for so many years of like, where's the next dollar going to come from? Um, how am I going to pay for my bills? And, oh my God, I need to get another $5,000 client so I can pay the rent or whatever it was. And like I had all of these fears and stress around money. And as soon as I started to make consistent money every single day, that more than paid for my bills then it was like this huge weight was lifted and like it just completely changes your confidence. It changes your outlook. It changes everything. Yeah. So I want to get that in front of people so that more people could have that and and feel that feeling. Yeah. I a hundred percent agree. Yep. It's going to be good. So, okay. So the link is in the comments. If you want to check it out, um, it's sales every day. It's happening this Thursday. I think we have it at, 10 that we start um there's a bunch of bonuses as well that you'll get if you're a certain number of people signed up if it's still on the sales page then you'll it's still available um if you have any questions you can reach out to melody or myself anyone um and and ask that um 
we'll post more about it throughout the rest of this week. But if I were you, I'd hurry to yeah. get those bonus. Hurry up, I would guys. Sign. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, you're going to get yeah. one-on-one calls with us, which is like, yeah, way more money than this. yeah. yeah. Th- those are those are usually priced at more than what a workshop would be priced at, and you're getting those for free. So, no brainer. And also, like I said earlier, we did just add the extended payment plan, so you can do two payments of nine. I was gonna say nine ninety nine. Um, of ninety. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that's going way down. Yeah. Yeah, we, we've overcharged now. No. So it's two payments of 99 um, or you can just do the pay in full and it's a little bit cheaper. So it's up to you, but we made it super reasonable, super easy to afford for everybody. So we hope to see you there. It's going to be fun. Yay. All right. Yay. Okay. We'll talk to you guys later. Have an awesome Tuesday. Bye, guys. Bye.